Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University, and I'm going to show you how to fix something in Qualtrics when you figure out that it's not counting up your Likert scales exactly in the way that you mean them. So when we have a Likert scale such as this, um, where things are on a five-point Likert scale, we would generally expect none at all to count as a one, a little to count as a two, a moderate amount to count as a three, a lot to count as a four, and a great deal to count as a five. And so sometimes this works exactly as it should in Qualtrics. And when I am looking at my um, report on the, uh, the data and analysis side, um, in data and analysis, in reports, and I scroll down and I look at my mean scores. Oh, my mean scores are all within the range that I expected. And I can see that my minimum was one and my maximum was five. So everything is fine. But as I continue to scroll and find some other Likert type scales that I have in my study, I find that, oh my goodness, all of a sudden, my minimum is a 32 and my maximum is a 36. That's not what I need. That's gonna be really confusing and, and uh, you know something that's gonna mess up my mean score. My mean score is a 34.13. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm gonna show you how to very easily fix this. So when you're in your survey itself, you're in the editing section of the survey, uh, you're going to want to find the particular scale that is getting messed up. And when you're going to go to the scale, you're going to click on this little gear button and you're going to click on recode values. And here I can see exactly what's happening. It's, it's putting in not interesting at all as a 32 and it should be a 1. It's putting this in as a 33, it should be a 2. This should be a three, this should be a four, and this should be a five. So I'm gonna go ahead and click recode values, and then I'm going to change them to what they should be. And then I'm going to press close, and I'll go ahead and check along at a couple of others just to see if there is an issue with them as well. And so far, so good, except here's another one. This guy is broken, so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to set him straight and fix him up and then continue on just to make sure that all of the scales are set up exactly in the way that I need the scales to be so that when I do create my um, indices where I'm trying to add up these concepts into a single reliable and valid uh, number in a summative index that all of them will um, operate really easily and everything will be good. So I'm going to finish fixing all of these. We're almost at the end. And then when I download this file, instead of having the weird numbers in here, I'm going to have the correct numbers in here. And those were all my Likert scales, so I'll go ahead and go publish, and I'll publish it up. I'll go into data and analysis. And then I'm going to export the data. I'm going to use Excel and the numeric values, download, and let's just go ahead and look at it
All right, now cross your fingers. Let's hope that everything is good, that I don't see any weird like 33 or whatever the case is. So the involved scale was fine. I had a bunch of rank order, six items for rank order. And then excellent, the content scale is now exactly as it should be, which is on a five point scale. That one fixed, no problem. Uh, after the content scale, I had the KS scale. That one was perfect. I had the WOM scale, now it's perfect. So all of this is fixed. Happy researching.